Welcome back to Studio 10. Of course, you know what day it is. It's Take Me Home Tuesday. Welcome to another Take Me Home Tuesday brought to you by Doubting Industries. That music always makes me want to dance. And he was just running around the green room, uh -huh. playing, having the best time. Other dogs in the past and done well. We would recommend a slow introduction to any new dogs. New home is very soon. Um, She's so cute. Wow. Awesome. I love when the wind catches her little ears She's and puts so them out. So cute. Oh, they're so cute. Thank you so much for bringing them by, Lexi. I appreciate Thank your time. You. All right, stick around, more Studio 10 after the break. Oh, that was so fun to look back at some of the animals we've had over the past year on Studio 10. We want to thank Capital Area Humane Society, Penny, Lexi, always bringing an animal by every week without fail. Thank you so much for your partnership. Thank you so much. We love coming out here. Um, we get the animals adopted faster mm -hmm. when they're on your segment. So happy birthday. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, and so, thank you for letting us be part of this Yes, today. and I'm so glad that our one-year birthday fell on a Tuesday. So, of course, yes. we could invite you back. We would have had you anyways, but it's so nice that it fell on a Tuesday so you could come by and bring another sweet animal. So tell me who you have today. This is Rice. Rice is two months old. She's a female. She's been spayed. She's up to date on vaccines and she has a microchip. Okay, perfect. And talk to me a little bit about where you got her. Maybe if we know anything about her history, if we know anything about her temperament. We do know that she came in with siblings and she was in a foster home and we've talked about this before. Typically our pets that uh, have been in foster homes are very well socialized. So yeah, she has just been hanging out, letting everyone love her. Um, so she's just a super sweet kitty. Okay. Okay, perfect. So if ne if someone's never owned a kitten, what is the care like? Is it different than a cat? Is it more full time? What does that look like commitment wise? You know, the one thing between um, cats and dogs is dogs, there are a lot more responsibility. You know, you have to take them outside. If you go away, even, you know, for a long day or a weekend, you have to find someone to, you know, pet sit for them. With kittens and cats, um, you know, obviously you have to feed them and, ch and change their litter box and, and keep that clean. But, you know, they just, they just kind of play on their own. Um, and if you went away for a day or even a weekend, um, as long as you left them plenty of food and clean their litter box, they would be totally fine. So um, in at CHS, they're always adopt one, get one with all of our felines, whether it's a kitten or an adult cat. And two's always more fun because they can keep each other company if you do go away. That's true. And you guys had a very successful event this past weekend. Tell me a little bit about that. We did. It was our annual Walk for the Animals fundraiser, which is our second largest fundraiser of the year. It's a nonprofit organization. We rely on the generosity of our community and donations to take care of all of these wonderful animals. Um, it was the most successful year ever. We raised over $117,000 and our goal was 80. So oh that gosh. is huge. We're just, we are elated and it was beautiful outside. Typically it rains, yeah. um, but the sun was out. We had a lot of people come out and it was just, it was a wonderful day. I'm so happy for you. And talk to me Thank about where you. those donations go. So they go directly toward the care of all of our animals. They cover um, the food, um, all medical expenses. Uh, we have a lot of pets that actually need more than your typical medical. Um, you know, like heartworm. Heartworm is really expensive, but if a dog comes to us with that, we treat that. That can run anywhere from six to eight hundred dollars. Um, yeah, and so it just goes um, to help us save the lives of, mm -hmm. of all the animals we take in, which is over four thousand every year. So a big thank you to our community for oh really getting behind you and surpassing your goal by a lot. So that's great. Absolutely. We couldn't do it without our community. So we are just so, so very grateful. All right, Penny. Well, thank you for bringing cute rice by and thanks again for one year of coming by for Take Me Home Tuesday. We've loved seeing all the animals and help get them homes. So thank you so much. Thank you so much and happy birthday. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, more Studio 10 after the break.